Here we go with Jaden Fielding kicking off here on Big Ten Saturday on Peacock. It is a touchback, and Purdue is going to open things up as we are underway. And it's really his left shoulder that's bugging him. Ohio State, by the way, won the toss and deferred. And Card's got to come out of the gun with Garrett Miller, the tight end in motion, and Mockaby with a big gain on first down. And this crowd gets loud early as Mockaby takes it to the 44. A little tempo here from the 44. Low snap. First pass is complete, and that's Deion Burks. Two plays. We'll see a lot of today moving all over the field. I talked about making the explosive plays. He's a guy that can do it. And that's good for a gain of seven. And the Boilermakers already in Ohio State territory. You take it to Burks, you give it to Mockaby. Another nice run at another Purdue first down. And he's going to take it to the Buckeye 45-yard line. And he's going to get another one. No, he isn't. The fake. Card throws sidearm. We got another completion. TJ Sheffield. The tight end comes in motion. Here's Mockaby, who lowers his shoulder, runs into steel chambers, but moves the chains. And as the running back here. For about two and a half minutes in, Purdue's on the move. Downing gets his first carry of the game. A couple of yards to the 31. Tackled by Michael Hall Jr. Second down is a huge down when you don't get an efficient run on, on first and ten. Both teams talked all week about starting well, getting their quarterbacks in a rhythm early. Card fires his first in completion there. Intended for Burks. The coverage by the big defensive lineman, the All-American JT Tui Moloa. With downing the backfield, third and eight here for Purdue. Opening drive, Ohio State 31. Hudson Card has time, lofting, and firing incomplete. He wanted his tight end, Drew Bibber. Ball a little high. He told us yesterday he was comfortable with Julio Macias inside the 30. This is from the 31. This would be a long for Macias. It's a 48-yard try from the near side hash. Julio Macias to put Purdue on the board early. And he hooked it wide left. Kyle McCord's going to have Chip train him in the backfield, out of the gun. He'll fake it to train him and throw to the outside, and Julian Fleming cannot hang on. And that is Ohio State's first play, a drop. McCord hit Fleming, the hands could not hang on. And now he's under pressure on second down. Flushed out, throws down the sideline. Marvin Harrison Jr. can't get that, tried with one hand, and that's incomplete. Trainum was there, too, out of the backfield. Now on third and ten, McCord backpedaling. Harrison has this one and has the ball. Working against the fifth-year senior, Cam Allen with the coverage there. So the Buckeyes with their first first down. Cage Stover, the tight end, in motion to give to Trainum. A couple of yards over the right side in a modest game. Trainum, the former linebacker, the transfer from Arizona State, the guy that had the winning touchdown in South Bend. Sorry, Kyle, three weeks ago. I'm sure that's not the first time I'll hear that today. It will not. The co-host jab will try to keep the references down. Second and eight. Out of the gun. McCord again backpedaling. Firing left sideline. Fleming fighting for it. No, it's Harrison, and he's got it. Inside the red zone to the 18-yard line again at 34. And the Buckeyes are on the move on their opening drive. In the red zone from the 18-yard line now. Give the train him. Looking for a room over the left side. Big hit, lowering the shoulder into Yanni Karloftis for maybe four. See that replay again for the rest uh, of the broadcast. We may or may not use it again. Ball to Harrison here on second down. Incomplete. They need the eight to keep this drive alive. McCord out of the gun. He's got three receivers right. Harrison's 18. Stover out there as well, the tight end. And a timeout taken by Ryan Day. His first of the game. Flanked wide to the bottom of the screen. Backpedaling, McCord lofting for the end zone. Caught, that's a touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. It's a 14-yard touchdown for Marvin Harrison Jr., his fifth receiving touchdown of the year, but they're going to get only six out of it. Jaden Fielding misses the extra point wide. This crowd gets loud for the Jaden Fielding. Kickoff here. 
We're going to get a return. Devin Mockaby brings it out. Mockaby with a flag down to the backfield. Behind the 20 is going to get out to the 18 yard line. So Hudson Card led an eight play drive to open things up for Purdue. They got into Ohio State territory, but came away with nothing after the missed field goal. Dylan Downing. His lower right leg. And uh, of course, the team came out to uh, wish him well. And now he's off for further examinations. But air cast on the and lower right leg. Andrew? Griffin's going to. So third and eight here for Hudson Carr from his own 11. Card to throw, clean pocket, flag down, fires near the 20 and dropped. Garrett Miller could not hang on. It's fourth down. Illegal formation, offense five or more in the backfield. The penalties decline, <laughs> results fourth down. He's going to come out to punt. The Aussie punter stands at his own five with Jaden Ballard back to return with a whistle again. The ruling of the runner being short of the line to gain is under further video review. After review, Didn't the ball it. hit the ground prior to possession. It's an incomplete pass. It results in fourth down at the 11-yard line. Had the punt team out, and before Ansel could get it away, they blew it down. Ansel now is going to back up into his own end zone, and Jaden Ballard, the Ohio State returner, is going to step up just shy of midfield. So potentially great field position here for the Buckeyes as Ansel gets it away. It's a low kick, and Ballard is going to field it at the 48 and run right. Ballard has been nowhere to go. Try to avoid that today. Kyle Rudolph, Andrew Siciliano, Lewis Johnson down to the sideline, and Xavier Johnson in the backfield. Not Lewis, Xavier Johnson in the backfield. Johnson wearing that block O this year as a captain with five yards there. And now he is going to go in motion to the backfield. Trainum's going to get a carry. Trainum's got some room. Trainum finds a lane, picks up a first down, and takes it across the 40. And a good job by McCord getting that snap. And Carson Hinsman, a little wide, brought it down with one hand. As Martel Tate checks into the game. Wide to the left, Harrison's to the right. Marvin Harrison catches. Mar he makes a move. 30, 25. Marvin Harrison down the sideline. Dylan Fiedemann, the freshman, pushes him. Now Tate goes in motion, the freshman. More running room here for Trainum as he gets around the right side. Yanni Karloftis. Trainum got six yards on that one, second and four. Now from the 16, another give to Trainum. He gets maybe two yards to set up third down. One yard for the first down. And Devin Brown is in at quarterback. He's going to run. Devin Brown. Fights his way to the five. And now McCord is back in. Gift to train him. Trying to get to the outside. Cut down by Brown. Set of downs. It's second and goal here. Devin Brown lowering his shoulder into the end zone. Another Ohio State touchdown. This one from the number two quarterback, Devin Brown, on the ground. When you're able to run the quarterback down there in the low red zone, it adds an extra blocker to it. A lot of conversation in the last couple of weeks about how Ohio State gets better on third and short, fourth and short. Do they go with the tush push, the brotherly shove? Their answer this week is Devin Brown in short yardage. He converts to get a first down. He converts to get in the end zone. Jaden Fielding missed his first extra point. He is perfect. Ohio State needs that run game to get rolling with bigger goals in mind, and it is rolling here today. Certainly. You know, down two scores. We, we talked about negative plays. You get the penalty on the last kickoff return. Forces them with bad field position. See what they can do here. Card to throw on first down. Lofting for Miller, who makes a nice diving catch on the five yard, or on the getting five yards on first down is, is big. Miller after catching that lines up in the backfield and here is a handoff inside by Mockaby with not a lot of running. Yeah, and and they, they motion over to the other side in a bunch formation try to create some confusion in that Buckeye secondary. Jaden Dixon Veal checks in wearing zero at wide receiver. Card to throw. Yeah. Card back down to the line and it's fourth down. Ty Leak Williams big number 91 got a hand on it. And yeah, the Ohio State Buckeyes force a Three it out as Ansel holds it for a little bit and then gets it away. Ballard's going to let it bounce and back away. And the Boilermakers will let that roll 
Hartline, former NFL wide receiver, also coaches these wideouts. The play fake to Johnson under pressure. Train him. 35. Big collision at the 38 yard line. He gets around eight yards. And Dallin Hayden wearing five now. Checks in at running back. And Xavier Johnson to the backfield there as well. Johnson, the wide receiver, will get his second carry of the game. He's in there, he is wearing five. He's now to Cord's left on first down. And McCord's going to throw on the run, incomplete in traffic intended for Johnson. He's a graduate student leader. Going to need him today, certainly, with train him on the sideline. And Hayden in the backfield. McCord pulls it. And he runs, and McCord falls forward. They're going to mark him at midfield, which is about a yard shy of the first down. Excellent job there by Kyle McCord, keeping it on the zone read. Able to get nine yards on second and long. It's, it's, it's so important on second and long. Just getting yourself back into a third and manageable, certainly when you can get it to third and one, that really helps this offense overcome that play on first and ten. There's train on the sideline now third and one McCord on the keeper and the Buckeyes are four for four today early on third down. He pushes the pile forward to the Purdue 48 and push the quarterback. He was the up back here. McCord's going to take a shot once Harrison incomplete at the 20 flying in just in case that ball was caught. With Alessandro on the coverage, now on second down. This one's up the seam. That one's caught by the big tight end, Kate Stover. Nice catch by Stover going up high to bring it down. The second quarter on the plus 25. And the give to Hayden with not a lot of room to run. And he is without helmet on sideline. G. Scott, the tight end, checks into the game. 12 personnel here for the Buckeyes as they're going to keep it on the ground. And Hayden has room. 20, 10. Hayden into the red zone and knocked out of bounds at the seven. Devin Brown checks back in. He's going to throw this time to the boundary. Dangerous throw intended for Scott with Kane. Probably lucky that ball is a little low here, a little higher. Kane might have a shot at, and he had clear sailing down that sideline. Brown's going to stay in the game on second and goal. And Brown's going to run right with blockers. Brown turns it upfield, dives! Ball's out! Purdue says they have it! And they do! Well, this will be interesting here. The ball, and once he crosses the pylon, the plane of the goal line, the play is over. It doesn't matter if it bounces out. He's on 20 yard line. Gives to Mockaby. Not a lot of room to and run. Eichenberg came back for another season. Graduate student. Middle of that defense here. Card nowhere to go. Pivots. Card under pressure and goes down. He playing a little hesitant. He just goes down there and takes the sack instead of trying to force something. And it brings up a third and 13 with the Ohio State backers, Eichenberg and Simon. Showing blitz. Five on the play clock now. Card calls for it. Gets it. Looks right. Fires right. That's complete. Jaden Dixon Veal with Denzel Burke on the tackle. Well short of the marker. In other words, keep your eye open for the fake. Ansel hesitates. Not going to happen. Gets it away. Low kick. Ballard waits. Waits. Runs out of the way. And Purdue will let it roll. Wave on that football, try to get a little more air. Brown in the run game today. Brown had a touchdown but fumbled to end Ohio State's last possession as he was going in. McCord comes back and goes right to the air. And Marvin Harrison Jr. has another one good for him. As, as they say in the football world, he comes back down negative. He's working back towards the quarterback. It's an incredibly friendly angle for the quarterback to throw the football. That was his fifth catch of the day. Good for 85 yards. Dallin Hayden now good for a first down. Running right, Carl Loftus. In fact that Mayan Williams is down. Emeka Abuka is down. This is a very different looking Ohio State offense today. McCord to throw. Stover has another one. Stover into Purdue territory across the 45 yard line. Hard run action and hit him across the middle. Kate Stover. With that catch. And now G. Scott wearing 88, another tight end into the game. Xavier Johnson with the carry from his wide receiver spot. 
Johnson gets good yardage there. I think we're going to see a lot of Xavier Johnson in the backfield. His third carry of the day. Now a deep drop. McCord takes a shot downfield while he takes a shot in the backfield. Incomplete intended for Fleming with Rodgers. It's third and short. Crowd gets loud. It's G. Sky in a motion to tight end. The give to Hayden. And he lowers his shoulder, and he's going to get the one yard and a couple of more as well. First down, guy To take a shot downfield, knowing that you can come back on third and one, you establish the confidence in your run game, knowing that we can turn around and hand it off and get that one yard and get a new set of downs. See what they do here on first down. With Johnson in motion. A little pitch goes to Hayden. He has some room, finds a lane, breaks the tackle, gets to the 20. Nice run by Hayden. Allen with the tackle. Somebody that, you know, we've heard the Brian Day wants him the red shirt, but yet here's a guy who prepared all week to go out and play the game, and he's showing that he prepared in practice with the way he's playing. That's Tate in motion. The freshman checks in wearing 17. Another pitch play this time to Johnson. He gets another carry. He's got room. Johnson zigging and zagging and getting down to the four yard line. And they're able to pick up 15 yards there on a huge run. Running behind, big six foot six right tackle Josh Fryer, weighing 313 and moving well. And now Brown is going to check back in. Brown wearing 33. Yes, he is a quarterback. Brown's going to run, carries that ball in his left hand, holds on to it, but doesn't get much. Maybe back at the line of scrimmage. But guys were threatening, got down to the goal line before that Brown fumble on their last possession. We'll work out of the gun here on second and goal. But not before a timeout is called. Second team charged timeout, Ohio State. This is the 32nd timeout. It's all on the offensive line. We're seeing this offensive line giving these guys room to run. Henderson watching. Harrison going in motion. McCord rolling out, looking that way. Now directing traffic. Watch Marvin. Harrison. And another touchdown. He's been in the end zone twice. The Buckeyes have now been in the end zone three times, and they extend to a 19 0 lead. Yeah, and they're able to just get Kyle McCord outside the pocket here, collapsing the right side down, getting the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. on the edge. Crowd just made some noise. Let's take a second look, see if he holds on to it. The ruling of a touchdown in the previous play is under further video review. The receiver touched the ground out of bounds before possessing the ball. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be third down. From the four, third and goal. McCord, tall in the pocket, throws into the end zone in traffic. That's caught. That's a touchdown. That's Kate Stover. I just talked about Cade Stover earlier on this drive, and he does such a good job working on his route, finding the soft spot in the zone coverage. It's, that's what tight ends do. The touchdown catch of the year. Much like a week ago, McCord had a touchdown wiped off on penalty, went back to the end zone, threw a touchdown on the very next play. Looming next week, fielding with a short kickoff. Maccabee takes it at the one. Maccabee running right and cut down. Nice tackle, Jermaine Matthews there. Card slings it over the middle. Garrett Miller, his trusty tight end. Back, back getting, getting five yards on first and ten. It's going to help these guys get back on track. Missed all of 2022 with an ACL. It's Elijah Kent. Look for him to be somebody that gets more involved as they have to stretch the field vertically in the pass games. They too are thin at wide receiver today. Downing with the carry on third and short, and he's going to pick up the first down. You know, sometimes when you're going through a law and it's three and out, three and out, you just need to get that first, first. Three to the wide side here on first down. Miller is in motion. Carr, time to throw. Now the pocket collapse. Spins left, spins right. And now throws wildly back over Miller's head and out of bounds incomplete. It's an up back on offense there with pressure. Purdue picked up the blitz from Steel Chambers, but still the pressure got there. And Carr had to throw it away on first down. Now he's taking a sack. 
It's Jack Sawyer who rips him down to the 25. That can rush the passer, just bring him four. And Sawyer beat Ben Farrell, who's playing right tackle today with Marcus Bow, injured last week at Iowa, out for the season. So a banged up Purdue offensive line. Now try to protect on third and 17. Sidearm slinging it. Knocked down. Incomplete at the line. And it's fourth down. Ansel to boot it away after Buckeyes force another three and out. It's a low wobbler, bounces on the near side, 40, and bounces out of bounds when Purdue is the Buckeyes back on the field, and McCord's going to throw on first down. How about the play that Fleming makes sliding? And if they can give him the catch, there's a flag in the backfield. The ruling is Fleming got it, sliding at the plus 45. But back in the offensive backfield, Greg Blum is figuring out this flag. Initially a gate of 15. Holding offense number 71. 10 yard penalty, first down. But it's going to back them up to the 30 and set up first and 20. Scott's in motion. Hayden is in the backfield. Here's McCord with time. Marvin Harrison Jr. could not hang on. Rogers has been with them all five today, could not hang on to that one. On second and 20, out of the pistol. McCord, free runner. Spins away from Rodgers, now throws it deep, wants Johnson, and he can't hang on at the 30. A third and 20. And a stop. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, third down. Senior, why wouldn't you take a shot to him? Ryan Day was penalized last week for losing his pool on the sideline, losing his pool there, and on third and 25, he is just going to run with Xavier Johnson, the wide receiver, getting his fifth carry. Carl Loftus with the tackle. Now Mirko back to punt. With time, with some pressure, gets it away. Fair catch called on the 30-yard line by Sheffield. 2-0-2 remaining before the break. They're going to start this drive on the ground, on the ground with Devin Mockaby. Getting around five yards to take us now inside of two minutes remaining. Tommy Eichenberg there on the tackle. Who's going to go hurry up a little tempo? As soon as we get under two minutes, they're going to have to go quicker here, getting into that two-minute offense. Kyle with three timeouts remaining. Buckeyes bring the pressure. They get it away, block it up well, and hit the slant to get a first down. That's Deion Burks to the 44. You have to think if Purdue has a chance of getting back in this game. Deion Burks is going to be a guy that plays a huge part. It's one of the guys on the offense that can make explosive plays in the pass game, even off of just those short slant routes. Inside of two minutes, they stop the clock to reset the chains, then start it again. And now Card, look at him go. Hudson Card fighting through injuries, finding a lane. And getting a first down to the 43 and stopping the clock at 118. It's a gain of 13. Maybe didn't run as much as he could have last week against Iowa because he was so banged up. Gets a first down there. And now Mockaby here gets another one down the far sideline. They call him crazy legs. They're going everywhere. Devin Mockaby's given this offense life on this drive. He gets 21 to the 22. They call him the mechanic. Mockaby picks up a block and now Carr down the sideline. Once Burks incomplete. Davison Igbenosin, great job. Didn't turn around but knocked that ball away. Unfortunately, Burns couldn't hold on to it. And here's Mockaby inside the five and down to the goal line. His style yesterday. But just a huge run there, getting the ball just inside the one-yard line. They're going to spot him down on the one with the clock winding now under 50 seconds to go. Purdue three timeouts, Ohio State with one. Drew Bibber checks in, tight end. One of three to the left, Mockaby in the backfield. Mockaby, nowhere to go. Card out of the gun. Now he goes in motion. Mockaby's going to take the snap. Can he get to the edge? Cuts it inside. Flag down to the backfield. And he's going to lose a couple of yards. Cody Simon up for the tackle. And Purdue has got to back up. So it looks like we're going to have a holding here. And, you know, one of the cardinal sins in the red zone, our penalties can't get, can't get backed up. Offense number 88. 
10 yard penalty, second down. And of course, preview the big one tonight here in South Bend. Second and goal now backed up after the hold on the 12. 18 seconds on the clock. That's Burks in motion to the right. Third and now and Ohio final. State calls Team timeout. timeout. Ohio State. Mockaby is his back. Card steps up. Will he run? Eyes downfield. Throws back in the end zone. Incomplete. Burks goes in motion to the top of the screen. Card under pressure. Going down. JTT and Jack converge at the quarterback. 40, this is going to be from 39 with six seconds remaining here in the second quarter to put the Boilermakers on the board here and avoid the first half shutout. Left upright, no good. Brian Day this week spoke of Hayden potentially redshirting, said that was the plan. He could still do that, but he's getting a lot of work today. As is Xavier Johnson, already has five carries on the day, came into the day. Absolutely, and Ryan Walters has to hate the fact that his team opened the game with a good drive, missed a field goal. His game closed the first half with a good drive, and again, missed a field goal. The Buckeyes open this half with a completion to Julian Fleming. I mean, he's able to catch it here to bring up a short second and one could not catch it to open up the game and now McCord with a little trickery hits Johnson on the rollout Xavier Johnson breaks a tackle and Xavier Johnson who is stepping Jordan into Jackson the big to shoes today Jones. and the Mecca of Buka Xavier Johnson for the explosive play and now G Scott the tight end former wide receiver lines up wide right in motion as a wide receiver and McCord takes a deep shot intended for Fleming incomplete but two flags come out Marquinhos Brown is arguing his case, but he's not going to win that pass interference. Pass interference. Defense, number one, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic. First down. But they're saying that he might have cheated to get that position. Here's Hayden, big hole, 15, Hayden, 10. Powering his way inside the five, Thieneman with the tackle. The Buckeyes are rolling on the... Does best. I mean, this is an elite back that just really hasn't gotten his chance yet. Gain of 19, incomplete here on first night intended for Harrison as McCord. Nice job, Brown getting an arm in there. Opening possession here, third quarter, two minutes in. Harrison goes to the sideline on second and goal. G. Scott, the tight end in the backfield. Take the pitch, running for his life. McCord throws it up for grabs in the end zone. Fight for it, and another flag. They're going to get Brown again. This time, Fleming was the intended receiver. Yeah, again, it's the same thing. I just anytime these officials Pass see defense number one, the foul occurred in the end zone by rule. The ball be placed at the two-yard line. Automatic first down. He was pressed this week. Are you a tight end? Are you an H back? Are you a fullback? He said he is a positionless offensive piece. And then with his position coach on the podium, he was catching balls behind him, trying to prove he's got the hands. See if they throw to him. As they say, the more you can do. Exactly. Scott in motion on first and goal. The give up the middle. Dallin Hayden, Hayden the ball carrier. not going to get there. I stayed short. Hayden stood up again, but he lunges forward Hayden and gets it. Dallin Hayden called into action and gets another Buckeye touchdown, 26 to nothing. See this a lot throughout football. You get big number 92 out there. For the running back, it's easy. J just follow the big fella. Get your pads down. Finish with the ball in the end zone. They say all the time, you just carry the ball across the end zone with your pads. You see it there. just wraps up the football, keeps the legs churning, ends up late in the end zone. And now the extra point by fielding again. He missed one earlier. Is up and in. So good guys. Up 27 to nothing over the Boilermakers after marching right down the field and punching it in for what you'd have to think is a demoralizing opening drive here this week. He could still do that. 
I mean, he had over 100 carries a year ago, pressed into service today as Maccabee opens up this drive, going backwards. That Ohio State defense swarms. Got a hard hit in the first half. He has yet to return. Mayan Williams didn't dress either. And Ohio State is thin, but guys like Dallin Hayden have stepped up. And it, it goes without saying, you can't sustain drives if you're one of seven on, on third down. This is going to be third and two. Maccabee goes to the backfield. Card over the middle. It's caught by Rice. Here's another one, and Rice breaks loose. Rice into Buckeye territory. That's what they needed. You've had a pre-snap whistle. The offense sub, you weren't able to stop the snap. Well, put the ball down and re-snap. All right, so defense has a chance to match that substitution. As mentioned, the rain is coming down, and Purdue missed two field goals in the first half, including one at the end of the second quarter after a long drive. They went tempo. They got the ground game going. They could have punched it in. Ryan Walter's team could have made it potentially 20 to 7, knowing Ohio State would get the ball to open up the third quarter. But that was just a gut punch. But here, opening this drive well, longest play of the day, 35 to Rice. They will run now on first down. And take it across the 30. Maccabi gets another carry. He and they're seeing him more from the run game than the pass game. As much as we talked about the Buckeye ground game, Purdue actually outgained them, mainly because of that final drive of the second quarter on the ground in the first half at a buck 36. Card pressure at his feet. Incomplete. Now third and eight. Purdue's opening drive third quarter. Need the 22 to keep this drive alive. The give to Downing. Nowhere to go. Simon. It's a run. They're just conceding the down, but they're really just trying to get it more to a fourth and short, fourth and manageable. Instead, they lose a yard, make it fourth and longer, fourth and nine. Card wants Miller. No, but a flag. Ransom the safety. Never got his head around, and that flag came out. You got to like Hudson Passing Card defense. there. Defense, number eight. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Former tight end. They were both grabbing each other there. Now, Card pulls it back, throws it to Pylon. Incomplete. But Ohio State's pressure forced him to get rid of it a little sooner than he wanted. T.J. Sheffield, the captain, had a big game last week. Got in the end zone at Iowa. He's been quiet today. Now, second down. They give it to Burks on the trickery. Burks. To the 10. Explosive it, players on offense. He is hands down their fastest player on offense. He can be from the right hash. Macias has missed two today. One wide left, the other one off the left, upright, and he missed left again. Yeah, and that's a lonely feeling standing over there on the sideline. We were talking about how much the mental part plays into that position, and you know, he misses first two left and then pulls the, the third one even further. Allen Hayden already has 63 yards on the ground sideline. His defense out there for a Buckeye second and seven. Tate into the game at wide receiver, 17 in motion. Hayden trying to find some room over the right side. We talked so much this week about that offensive line. They got to stop that run game if they have any chance. Buckeye's great. In this. Sorry. Buckeye's great on third down, 6 4 7. As McCord backpedals, fires for Tate. Tate has it. Tate breaks tackles and make it seven for eight. As to the Big Ten world, he is, by most analysis, the next man up in this great line of Ohio State wide receivers. True freshman out of Chicago by way of IMG. And now a pre-snap penalty. Play game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Touchdown. Just inside the one yard line really got him fired up. Maybe I spoke too soon. Certainly a little animated there as McCord drops to throw. Tate running free. Tate across the 20 and thrown down at the 14. And a gain of 60 to put him inside the 15. And now McCord throws another one. Cade Stover has his second touchdown today. Scored last week. And now three in two weeks. And now Fielding, who missed one earlier after the... For both teams, uh, definitely big for Notre Dame after 
Stubbing their toe last week at Louisville. Great opportunity for the offense to get back on track against a defense really hasn't stopped a whole lot of field goals. And now we'll open up on their own 35. Maccabi in the backfield. Card with pressure there in his face from Tui Moloau here in the rain. Purdue, though, did come in as pretty darn good a running team for an air raid style system here. As Card throws complete to the 40. That's Rice again. Purdue actually ran the ball over 30 times, third and five. Hudson looks right, throws back left, and airmails Burks, and it's fourth down. See if 11 on third down as Ansel gets it away, and through the rain, Ballard looks up, calls for the fair catch, and takes it cleanly. Antonio Holmes and Ted Ginn Jr., Anthony Gonzalez, and then coming back here in 2018 and wanting to restore that tradition. One, Evan Pryor has checked into the game at running back. The junior out of Cornelius, North Carolina, is going to get another carry with nowhere to go, and he is going to lose major yardage. Osai remains in the game. Three receivers on the bottom of the screen to the left, which is where McCord looks and fires, and Harrison cannot hang on. You feel with just your hands catching a football that might be a little slick. You want that natural feel sometimes without the gloves. Totally understand it. Harrison could not get that one. Just the Buckeyes' second punt. From Jesse Mirko, Sheffield Field, 45. Spin move, 50. Buckeye territory. Nice little return here. The middle season, that one loss kept them from competing for the national championship. Eventually went to the Rose Bowl. Down the sideline by Card on first down. And that young man to the right, his brother, the Tyler Trent for inspiration. There's no doubt about it. And cancer seems like it's affected each and every one of us. And what this community, what this team has been able to do to rally around the Trent family. You know, we heard about it this morning on the game day piece. Up the quarterback that night. It's great to see everyone come together here in his memory as Ansel shanks it. You mentioned Ryan Day's record against unranked teams, and you know certainly he, he gets a little bit of heat for his performances against some of the bigger teams in Michigan, but certainly he's taking care of the ones they're supposed to take care of here. Certainly the run game's been a big part of that and a big part of their success here today. The run game today, at least now in the third quarter, belongs to Evan Pryor, gets another carry. Oh. You know, they've got so many good backs in front of you. It's a chance for you to go out there and, and show the rest of your teammates what you can do when you get a chance. And let's see what they do here with Brandon Innes, the freshman wide receiver, checking in. Number 11, balls out. Karloftis falls on it. It's Purdue football. And he sets up the Boilers on the 20. Card throws. Knocked up in the air by Igmanosin. Incomplete. That doesn't give Igbenosin an opportunity to, to play your body reaction. And Purdue hasn't been shut out in a decade. Last time, 2013 at the hand. Pretty clear all morning, but now it's coming down. Purdue has converted only twice today on third down. The delay. Maccabi not going to get there. As we open up with a fourth and seven to open the fourth quarter. Hudson Card trying to avoid a shutout. Got to get to the 10 to keep it alive. Calls for it. Gets it with pressure converging, throws over the middle, and it's complete inside the five. This Purdue offense down on the one yard line again, last time they're on the one yard line. They get the penalty, then the sack, ultimately backing them up. We got two tight ends in the game here as Drew Bibber checks in. Bibber's wearing 82 slot left, and he's gonna come in motion. Card. Fakes to Maccabee, little jump pass, incomplete. Again, is Bibber, Bibber, who could not hang on. Now the play clock at seven. We got a flag. False start. Offense number 75. Five-yard penalty. Second down. At the ball on or inside the one-yard line and get backed up with the penalty. So here's Carr to the blitz coming. Carr throws, and they finally get in the end zone. Deion Burke. After that touchdown, Walters is making a change at kicker. Julio Macias, who missed three field goals earlier, gives way to Caleb Crockover, and the crowd gets loud. But these fans are hanging around as Crockover gets it away to Xavier Johnson. Johnson has some room. Johnson dodging tacklers, staying on his feet. And 
and getting out to near the 35. So, so certainly these, these wet conditions don't make it easy coming in 14 minutes after the fourth quarter for your first kick of the game. No, but he got the job done here as McCord is still in there and finds Harrison who is still in there who has room and ahead of steam down the far sideline takes it into Purdue territory He's standing in the pocket putting himself at risk Look there are milestones to be met 2,000 yards for Marvin Harrison jr. Among them as McCord says in their faces the rush and he just flings it no whistle That's a loose ball Stover is back there to fall on it after review It was a forward pass not a fumble Incomplete pass. There was no receiver in the area. Intentional grounding. Offense number one at the spot of the foul. Loss of down. Third down. Reaction again. Dallin Hayden has 10 carries today. Here is number 11, and he has room. Hayden gets to the outside. Thieneman. Hayden here. That, that run gives them an opportunity to maybe try to go for this third down conversion. They're going to throw on third and 12. It's Tate sitting down. Catch of that and then turn it upfield. Mirko, another Australian punter in his third year here with the Buckeyes, waits for it on his own 46 and a whistle. Play clock's at zero. Delay a game. Offense, five yard penalty. Punt units take the lays there. And now another flag. Yeah, I, I'm with you, Kyle. Like, my first thought was, well, that, maybe snap. you're backing up for some room. Offense, excuse me, offense number 43, five-yard penalty, fourth down. A field position delay. So they back up again, 10 yards in total, and Mirko gets it away. Sheffield's going to run away. Good job. Planted that thing on the one. Ross H. City, West Lafayette, Indiana. It is. A one-sided game, 34 to 7. The Buckeyes on top of the Boilermakers. Some breathing room here for Purdue to open up the drive. The Ohio State defense has allowed only 199. Years. Rightfully so. There were NFL playmakers all over that offense, and it was a culture that he wanted Play to game. change. They wanted to win games offense. on defense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Playmakers on the back end do their thing while the front four puts pressure on the quarterback. Man, they have certainly done that today on third and one. They'll keep it alive. Deal to Penn State next week with what we just said about the fact that this team needed to play better. Deep shot, incomplete. As the clock winds under 10 minutes, 34 to 7. Card, pocket collapsing, gets it away. Doubting on the far sideline, cut down shy of the 20. In order to get to where they want to be at the end of November and playing their best football, you know, winning games in the Big Ten in October, November, you're going to have to have the run game that showed up today. Absolutely. Going to need it next week here as well. Third and two. Card fires into traffic. But I feel like Ansel every time has just kind of waited to see if they drop in coverage before he kicks the ball, who knows, maybe he'll hold on to it and just take off here for two yards. This is his seventh punt of the day, gets it away quickly. It's a bad one. Low bouncer near midfield. Rolls to the 36. And my goodness, Lewis, is a great way to say it because, you know, Kyle and I, we're all talking as we have a quarterback change here, Devin Brown on the carry through everyone here at Purdue. To see his family out there, mom and dad. Third and four. Devin Brown at quarterback. Kyle McCord's day is done. Three touchdowns. Pretty good day of work for McCord. Brown scored earlier in this game. A rushing touchdown. He's going to throw, and he's got his completion to Brandon Innes, the freshman Innes. Touchdown. He's pressed this week. We gonna see him? Nah. Oh, well on their way. The remaining undefeated midway through the fourth quarter. Up. To find the end zone there on the long touchdown reception. Freshman out of Florida. Tate, the freshman out of Chicago by way of Florida, also had a big play to set up a touchdown earlier. And those freshmen, the transfer from Arizona State is in. As the day is done for the banged up Hudson card. Threw for a buck 25 at a touchdown. Simply not enough offense today. 
And really not enough pieces on that Purdue depth chart here with so many guys injured. Maccabi, though, is healthy. That have that exact same style, but you got to give him credit because he does. He has great patience. He sees the cuts. He makes all the cuts. And he, he's been one of the few bright spots here for Purdue on offense. And he has earned and he deserved that scholarship as Maccabi slips here across in the 50. Teammates went wild. Does do oil changes. And I'm not kidding. He changes the oil for some of his teammates. Don't know whether or not he upcharges for the air filter. Down the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Jerron Tibbs. Maccabi over 100 yards today, even in a losing effort. And on fourth and one, he's going to get that first down. Turn it upfield and keep this Purdue alive. I, I kid. But how many times have they come back going, you know what? I, you need a new air filter. Can I see it? Dylan Downing to carry. Then they show it to you. Like, yeah, I just wanted you to know. Back at home in Columbus on the 21st. Penn State about to kick. Facing UMass today, one of three undefeated teams in the Big Ten. Tibbs there with his first catch. And Tibbs breaks a tackle and spins and gets close to a first down. You just don't have enough pieces here, despite the fact that you have a quarterback who's banged up, who can sling it, but against this Ohio State defense. Case in point right there. With Meredith in at quarterback. Arizona State transfer coming up on three minutes remaining here. Meredith has time. Pressure from behind and almost got picked off. Simon had his hands on it. Boilermakers games coming up. Got Buckeyes games coming up as we get closer and closer to basketball season. They get closer and closer to the end of this one here with Ohio well, State. They wanted to get the run game going. They wanted to get this offensive line communicating better, getting on the same page. You've seen it. There's a lot less unblocked guys in the hole in the run game. Third and eight, and movement on the right side of the line. 146 to go in this Ball one. start. Offense number 51, five yard penalty, third down. It is. I mean, you got a great player in the quarterback in, Hut, in Hudson Card, but then you look at the defense that he's building, the true freshman in the second. And Mirko is back to punt with Andrew Sowinski, set to return. The junior out of Indianapolis. And Mirko gets it away for the fourth time today. Swinski backpedaling with a fair catch inside the 20. Uh, finally bowed out, almost got that win at the Coliseum. Caleb Williams worked his magic. As Adai Llewellyn takes the handoff here. The Buckeyes get a huge win today. They That's the exercise end of the game. some of those Rossi demons. And they beat the Boilermakers.